Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, and I was struggling to find a video to do today, and I was going to do a tutorial on how to install DWM, but that didn't materialize, so I've decided I was just going to go over my i3 config. Now, excuse me, take a drink. Should have taken a drink before I started, but that's okay. Uh... I started off, this installation here is an uh, installation of Arco, Arco Linux, and if anybody has used that before, they'll know that their i3 config is massive. When I started off, it was over 400 lines, and it was a mess. Now, they do that because they have different, every all your key bindings are in there, and, you know, they have different things. As you can see here, this comes with i3 and Arco tells you what uh, workspace goes on which monitor and they define which monitor what monitor is which and they don't do that in normal i3 config uh, the default i3 config uh, so this past weekend I went through and decided I would go through and condense some of these things and start using SX, SXHKD which is a hotkey daemon so I moved almost every single hotkey or key binding over to SXHKD and I got my i3 config down to oh look at this the, um, that 97 lines which is I'm very happy having it under 100 I don't know why I'm so proud of that but I am so basically my i3 config is as minimal as I can get it as far as I know so you have to have the, the you have to see your super key, and I have the X Rander uh, start up every time I do things so that my monitors stay in the same place. I define which monitors are which, and what workspaces go on which monitor. And that takes up the first third almost of my config file. If I could find a way, I really wish i3 allowed you to, to, to just do kind of like what um S -S 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 I'm going to have a hard time with that word SXHKD does and allows you to to like combine things like this here this allows me to move between workspaces and you just you know do 1 through 9 I wish I could do just do 1 through 10 first monitor 11 through 19 second monitor and yes I have 19 workspaces it's something I'm trying out I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with it I was at ten, the default 10 uh, I don't know that I use 19. I'm thinking maybe I go down to 12 or something because I need more than 10, but 19 seems too many. Um, I don't know. It's something I'm just trying out. After that, it's just the standard default i3 stuff. I get my uh, restart mode so I can restart, you know, you know, up here the nag bar for, you know, starting, restarting, logging out, and stuff like that. Uh, and what's interesting about when if you decide to move your i3 config over to S SXHKD, you have to have these two lines here. And I'm not sure why. If you remove these, i3 won't start. Or it will start, just nothing will show up. It, it won't execute any scripts, startup scripts or anything. Polybar or anything like that. It's really weird. And I'm not sure why. I discovered that by trial and error. And after that, I just have a few things like these here define which uh, app they define where an application is on a certain you know, workspace. So I'll, I always start Office Writer on two. I always start um, Steam on three, and so forth and so on. That way, I know where things open up. I don't do that for every application. Like I always have four as my uh, email adder, email client. Right now I'm using Geary. I'm going to try to set up NC, or not NC Spot, but um, Neomot pretty soon. We'll see. Um, and then I, ha I have a script here, i3 uh, AS. Let's see if I can uh, actually I don't, I can't show that to you right now. I don't have it. The Anyways, but that, that basically just starts up SXHKD, it starts up uh, PyCom, it starts up 
nitrogen so I can do uh, you, you know, wallpapers. And it starts up. Mm, I think there's a fourth thing that it starts up. I don't remember what it is. But anyways, instead of having a whole line after line of things to start up, I just start up that one script that saves a few more lines. Now I'm going to try later on moving my polybar over to that script and see if that will work. Um, phone is beeping, beeping, beeping. Anyways, uh, and then it, uh, these things, this here determines what floats and enables. Some things you want to float instead of being, you know, gigantic full screen or tiled. And that goes on for a little while, and then these sets the gaps, and then this sets the colors. That's literally my entire i3 config. I'm very proud that I got it below 100, 100 lines. And then, oops, wrong direction. This is SXHKD. This one is uh, 160 lines long, so you can see I moved a lot of stuff over to it. Oops. Um, basically, it just, you know, so I can restart SXHKD. I'm going to say this as many times as, as I can. Hold on a second. SXHKD, SXHKD, X, S, S, bleh. That's really hard. They need a new name. Terminal, file manager, and then a whole bunch of stuff here for Rofi. I really, I, I was watching uh, HexDSL, which is a just a small time Linux channel. He, he's hilarious. He does a lot of gaming uh, content, but he's also a big. BSPWM user. Now, BSPWM is what the the developer who does BSPWM also does SXHKD, and so they're kind of tied together. But he uh, HexDSL showed off all of his Rofi scripts. So this is just regular Rofi, and then clip menu is this, and that allows me to. Uh, it's a you know, clipboard history manager, and that's I mean I've used. It since I got this installed. Oh, it's a complete time saver. It's awesome. I'd never go without it again. Um, emojis. Uh, Bluetooth. Like so. And it sh shows me Bluetooth de devices. Um, allows me to switch between tabs and tells me what, win what workspace these are on. That's like, especially with 19 workspaces, Sometimes things get lost, or sometimes things like I had Caden Live open for days and didn't even realize it, <laughs> you know, because it just was on workspace, you know, zero, you know, or I don't even know what workspace it was on <laughs> anymore. It was just, you know, completely gone, gone, and I didn't know it was there. And I opened up HTOP and it said, you know, Caden Live is using 20% of your memory. And like, I don't have Caden Live open, but I did. <laughs> so I, I, I've been trying to use Rofi Show More. Um, calc, which is, oops, alt C. I don't use that very often. I've only used it a couple times just to, you know, test it, because obviously I know what these are. <laughs> um, and um, I've been trying to get Rofi Search and to things. If you can do, if you can get that set up, it allows you to search the web. I haven't been able to successfully get it done yet. Um, for whatever reason, uh, it, well, I can show you what it does. It's really weird. Uh, let's see. I have it in a command file. Let's see. It's a. Um, ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, anyways, and then I just have a whole bunch of application uh, shortcuts, so I can easily open up X, uh, applications and volume control. See, I have the standard volume keys here, but I also have um, custom ones, so that I can the because the keyboard I have has the custom volume keys way up top. I'd have these along the bottom row because I play and pause an awful lot, so it's just easier to have something there along the bottom row so I don't have to stretch. And then the rest of these are all i3 specific. These are the ones that I moved from i3. So this here allows me to move uh, between workspaces, 1 through 9, and then 1 through uh, 11 through 19. Now what's really weird is after you get past 9, you have to list them all out. Otherwise it doesn't work. And I learned that on my own. That was, by th that was through trial and error. Because I thought, originally I thought I was only going to be able to have this. Um, but then, uh, you know, I found out this works, and it works too. 
um, restarts i3, kills the program. Uh, this uh, determines which is a you know super V opens up another one of these, you know, and so on. Uh, and then back to H. Um, uh, you know, full screen toggle. Stacking tabbed and split, you know, and, and these are all just standard i3 key bindings, but I've moved them over to SX, SXHKD, so they're not in my config file anymore. And I don't know that it, uh, so I mean, I'm not going to go through all the rest of these. It's just are standard i3 things. If you if you decide to do this, they all have to start with, start with i3-msg. That just sends a message to i3 to do the i3 uh, command. That's literally all it is. There are some things you can't do. So, like on termite, oops, on termite up here, normally I would have um, comma focus, and that would make sure that every time you open up your terminal, your it focuses on that terminal. But you can't do that in SXHKD for some reason. Even if you put the i3 message at the beginning, which I don't have because I also use this for DWM. Um, so there's some things you can't do. And like I said, there's some key bindings that have to stay in your uh, i3 config. Otherwise, i3 won't work. Which It's the switch between different uh, workspaces with tab. Those two have to stay. And you have to set your super key in the i3 config. Otherwise, it won't work. Anyways... That's just a quick video. I kind of rambled on. It's just a little bit of a ramble. Uh, I, I had no idea for a video, and I've been trying to do a video every day, so I just decided to say, who cares? I'm just going to go through and and do uh, you know just a overview of what my i3 config looks like. I don't have really have a theme. I'm kind of in between themes. I started using, yesterday DistroTube did a space vim uh uh, video and that's what I'm using and I'm have, getting errors so I doubt I'm gonna you know stick with it for very long but it's cool what's in it but so I, I'm kind of like I said I'm kind of in between themes that's why nothing really kind of matches but anyways uh, thank you for watching subscribe if you liked it sub if you like uh, subscribe what is Dave 2d subscribe like if you whatever subscribe and like <laughs> I'll get this YouTube thing done eventually. Thanks for watching.